to wait until the Area Defense Council comes answers me back, which is at 1800. It's literally an hour later. guys welcome back to michelle's show why why am i turning the camera on and saying welcome back to this vlog and literally my hair it oh man love you guys welcome back to another entertaining video if you're following my family you know the craziness that is going on at my house right now every day i want to beat my head against the steering wheel and today's challenge is going to be um if Josh's life ends at five o'clock. <laughs> so just hang out guys for the video. No, his life is not truly gonna end, but um, just hang around and we'll kinda tell you what's going on a little later in this video. And, but currently I am waiting on him and Christian to come and get in the car because he has said that he wants to go get tacos. So we're gonna go to a little taco place and maybe eat and just chat for a bit. Every day we come to terms with one thing and they just try to hit us another way. So, and if you guys are not just so tired of hearing about this at this point, <laughs> I am. It's just a sad time we're in. It's a crazy time that we're in. Never thought I'd be sitting here doing vlogs like this, but <laughs> here we are. That's what my husband does. He paces around, makes other people nervous. No, I did. Man, there he goes again. He's done made 10 circles around this thing. Guys, look at this. We ordered enough food for four people. There's only three of us. Christian, is that to wake him up? Hey. Eating? Y'all need to. I'm gonna actually shut it up so he wakes up. Maybe still be hot? That's good though. What's this? Is this mine? Mm-hmm. Let's see what I got. <gasps> Oh my goodness, that looks good. Yay. So I was a little nervous. All right, show us that beautiful corn. Well, that was a letdown. <laughs> oh, it's gold, baby. I've never had this, have you? Mm -hmm. That's why I just want to try it. Okay, let's see. It smells tartish, like tarty. Really? I yeah. figured it smells spicy. That's what I thought too. Is it hot? You smell it? Yeah, I want to taste it. What is that flavor I'm getting? Cheese? Maybe that's it. Do you like it? I, I can live. get it again. Yeah, I can live without that. <laughs> Alright, Dad, tell them what this vlog's about. What? <laughs> What's important today? My life and the celebration of Josh. <laughs> and about two hours it ends. I need to go home so I can write that email. I ain't gonna save you. No, but I gotta write it anyways. You know the who? The Colonel. Oh. Until 1700 a writer. Until her yes or not? Yes. So you're gonna drag your feet to 1800, right? I have to. Like, I'm not gonna make a decision other than that. Yes, I'm concerned how you're writing an email and you hadn't talked to them yet. You're just going to write it up in preparation of what you want to say and then see, tweak it to what they say? No, it's very easy. Hey, I'm going to send a text message with the Area Defense Council's phone number and that captain's text and show her, hey, they're in law, they're in uh, court meetings all week. This is the only time they can talk to me, so I have to wait. And then immediately I will hit you in the email and let you know an answer. Oh, is she gonna like that? No, and you have a no. lawyer involved? Oh, great. Oh my God. So you're gonna hit her up first. Okay, you're gonna hit her up first saying you're waiting till 1800. I have to. Yeah, I've already hit up the ABC. Oh, Look at this. Looks so delicious. Plain Jane, just a vanilla cone. How's yours? They good. Are you okay? You slept through all of dinner. Woke up for the dessert. Hey guys, so I just let my people out of the car. We are home from tacos 
and I guess that's gonna go write these few emails and we're gonna just kind of see where we stand at. So I have to run and go get Michaela because Caroline is currently at school and we're back to I uh, have to pick her up if Caroline's at school. Um, so we're gonna wait and see how this day kind of plays out. It is four o'clock. We're down to the last hour guys. We're down to the make it or break it time. Like something is about to happen regardless. And honestly, I just kind of reminded my husband, we kind of do this stuff off camera. I don't bring you guys along with us everywhere, but um, I'm just trying to remind him because he, he just, he's like me, he needs a why. And um, I'm like, there's just a lot of distractions in the world right now, guys. I don't try to go too deep on this, but I am a Christian woman. And honestly, he's so distracted right now by other things that are going on in this world, including, I get it, him and his career and all this, but he can't even focus on what God's purpose is for him right now. He's just so very distracted. Um, and I get it. It probably would be too if it was my career. But when I say distracted, it's like every second of every day of just every minute that he's just wound up tight about this. So he's probably going to give himself an ulcer as I walked out the door about all this. But I do got to get Michaela. And just kind of a preview or what happened earlier is we kind of woke up this morning and it was crunch time and he's got this email saying he's got to decide today like it's been denied the um main the main general has denied us i believe i'm saying that right and um honestly because i'm just so frazzled about everything anymore and so i was like hit him up in an email and he's like yeah it don't work like it. i have to do chain of command i honestly don't understand if you're another military personnel out here i get chain of command i've always everywhere I've worked we have chain of command it's fine I get the chain of command but he hits so he has to he's like I can't just hit the general up I have to hit blah 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 up first the person he was talking about emailing earlier the lady other people on other fields are saying this is a little suspicious like it's a little weird like it doesn't make sense why you would still be forcing something in his careers over just so he can exit the military honorably it doesn't make much sense like he's currently not working he's just completely trying to get out and if you're military you know it could take up to a year to get out to exit the military once it's done like and that's all we're trying to do is get out we're not trying to still serve our country we're done we're done but her email is is she's kind of trying to make out like hey maybe we could just cross train you and you could go into a different area and you need to get the shot and like she disregarded him and then she CC'd a bunch of higher ups. That's why the chief has gotten involved now. To me, my outlook is, is you still have no idea. Now you've got at least somebody else involved. At least now you have a chief that's willing to talk to you. So now that may just be to smooth it over, try to tell him he still needs to do this and that and blah, blah, blah. But hey, we at least finally have somebody else listening to, even though she got super mad that, you know, Josh reached out to her. But like I explained to him, if you're a leader, I don't care how high up on the chain you are, in order to lead someone, your team has to trust you. You have to be able to listen to your team, period. So if you're not doing that, yeah, I'm not following that kind of leader into a marshmallow fight. I'm just really not because you didn't listen to your other teammates and you're not taking valuable points because we're a team. Even though you're a leader, you have to listen to the team and we just feel like we're not being listened to. So maybe we'll get some people to listen. All right, did you email her? Email her. I emailed her, <laughs> a new email, and now I got a bunch of senior enlisted and chiefs hitting me up telling me they want to see me now. So. So tomorrow man, new drama. New and improved, and I got to wear a uniform that I haven't worn in a very long time, pretty mm. much. Mm. Ooh, girl. <laughs> you better suck got in, cousin. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's medicine, dude. I feel so tired on it 24 seven and lazy. I gotta get rid of it. There's no way I can continue to function off of this. <laughs> gabapentin, man. 1,800 milligrams of gabapentin a day. And they expect, I couldn't even remember my daughter's name the other day. It's so you're just, gonna meet with the chief in the morning? Yeah. Take my gabapentin. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't care? Yeah, God, Marty, man. Wait, but more importantly, does she email you back? No, I haven't. I just sent another. Ooh, yeah, she did. Hold on, let me see. Yes, sir. That's the 
the thing, I, I'm not really sure because I didn't even know I was in the MEB until I went into the CARE Coalition one day. And they were like, hey, did you know you're getting med boarded again? All right, Dad. I was spying on you. Okay, so I talked to the, uh, the defense counsel, which is like a representative for the Air Force. It's a lawyer that's for actually airmen. It's not like the regular legal that's on base that you go there and they're strictly for the Air Force. This guy's for me. I told him my situation, which is I'm getting med boarded. I have so many issues with sleeping. And on top of that, the medication I take is extreme to where I can't even remember my daughter's name and stuff sometimes and or shoot, I can't remember <laughs> what level parking lot we parked on one time or where, what I drove one day because of the the medication was so strong not good so he was just like okay either way if you take this other prescription that they're trying to give you and you stay you stay in to do your med board he's like you essentially are getting kicked out either way if you don't take this prescription you're gonna get kicked out if you take it you're gonna get kicked out he's like man do the one that's less duress to you he's like the worst thing that's gonna happen is you'll get out under a general discharge. General discharge means that I lose my GI Bill and I lose my TRICARE. And then I would keep my VA rating. Not the TRICARE. TRICARE is what everybody wants. That's mainly why people stay into 20 years is because the medical is good. And- Wait, you'll lose yours too? Or just yes, me and Christian? Yes, I'll lose mine. So you don't get VA or nothing? Is that different? There's VA for me. And then there's additional CA or something like that, which is like a stepsister to TRICARE that the family can get on for me, you, and Christian. Yeah, what cost a month? I don't know, but it still costs for, whatchamacallit too, I think it's $900 a year, which is still really good. But yeah, so I could put my body under stress and get something that I have no idea that will do to my body, or I could go the other way, which my soul and my heart is telling me, has been telling me to go the opposite way. Like I've, me, Michelle, everybody, we've all prayed over it. I've had to take people to the hospital multiple times over, and I've had to help people that have gotten it. Like, I mean, one of my friends now is littered with cancer all over his body and he didn't have it before. And it's white, like literally, I don't know. My mind is like a scrambled egg, to be honest with you. So what's the verdict now? You're gonna now hit up the colonel so and now tell her gotta, enough? Yes, I, gotta, I have to hit up the colonel, tell her that I talked to ABC um, and that the process they're recommending me to go through is to deny because I'm getting med boarded. So There's no reason. Like, to and then she myself. has the saying if you can have an honorable discharge, dishonorable or general. Yes. And then I will get uh, LORs for denying or refusing to get that so called thing. So, what are those going to do to you in the Nothing, current stage? I'm getting out. <laughs> no, so, what's that going to currently do it to you? It causes her to write paperwork. <laughs> That's all. Which might annoy her and then turn her against me. <laughs> I heard your email earlier didn't already. Hmm? <laughs> your email earlier to her already didn't. <laughs> ha ha. Do you think it pissed her off? Oh, I don't care. Do you think it pissed her off? I have to have her on my side. <laughs> Do you think? Yeah. No, I don't. I think you just, you actually just stood up for yourself, which is. No, I just can't piss her off. I gotta be, you know how I am though. I am very. Yes, sir, ma'am. No, I come off very overpowering and it sometimes- I read your email like, earlier. It didn't sound overpowering. You read the first one. I drafted it like 20 times after that. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Yeah. All right, go send it to her and we'll probably know in the morning. Yeah, so I have to go meet the chief tomorrow morning. It's on me again. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, stay tuned. We're gonna end this vlog here. Why, because it's seven o'clock in the afternoon? Yes, yeah, seven o'clock in the afternoon. Christian's still not even feeling well, and then they're just sleeping the day away. So we're just calling this vlog done. The day is done. And just stay tuned for whatever tomorrow's vlog holds. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love you all. See you in the next. Bye.